try and keep the leaves off the lawn as much as you can, as often as you can. I know it's a pain. Decaying leaves can, will cause damage to your lawn. <laughs> Good morning my lawn lovers. Let me spin this round for you. Uh, you know, the customer's not happy, I'm not happy. There's a lot of, oh, I wanna say a lot of work. Well, there is a lot of work to do here to bring it up to my standard. And I guess to meet the customer's ultimate expectations, that's what they pay me to do. So let me spin this round and show you uh, what I'm up against. So on the customer's front lawn, you know, we've just got issues with red threaders kicked in. My customer, I did point it, point it out to my customer that they had got split ends on the end of their lawn. They've now addressed that issue in terms of getting the blade fixed. So there will be some visual immediate improvements to this lawn. But yeah, I mean, red thread, I guess. We've got red thread. And there's also some dead grass, bit of thatch. So what I'm going to do today is get a fertilizer down, a 12520 Pro Turf, and then I'm gonna return in around a week to see what the fertilizer has done, give it a chance to kick in, and then I've gotta come up with a plan of action to get this uh, lawn up to speed. So let's get the fertilizer down. Right then folks, a uh, couple of weeks into September, 12520 Pro Turf, perfect. Now then my lawn lovely jubblies and my lawn lovers on a customer's lawn of course need to get some treatment down food fertilizer it's that time of year unfortunately where there are leaves on the lawn and uh, well two options really you can either get a rake and rake them up bag them up or you can use what I'm using today a leaf blower just to speed it up I've got a lot of customers to see um, you know, there's literally absolutely no point whatsoever in putting fertilizer on top of decaying leaves. And on that note, try and keep the leaves off the lawn as much as you can, as often as you can. I know it's a pain. Decaying leaves can, will cause damage to your lawn. Not too many leaves on the lawn then, just check that out. Right then folks, leaves are off. Let's get some food down. This lawn is underperforming. I'm not happy about it. Customer's not happy about it. So I've got a Pro Turf 12520. 
couple of weeks into September, nothing wrong with that at all. Let's get this down. You know, let's give it 10 to 12 days to kick in and then we'll come back and see where we are, get a proper plan in place to get this uh, up to speed. Good morning, my lawn lovers. Rich lawns. Yes, yes, yes. Right, uh, just a quick update on the customer's lawn. You saw me do the work on my lawn care weekly videos. It's looking good, looking really good. Not quite there yet, still work to be done. But in terms of where we were, where it was, where we are now, wow, it is looking good. But, you know, I'm not kidding myself, we're not quite at the wow factor yet, but I'm chasing it. So overall, like I say, compared to where we were, where we are now, I'm pleased, I know the customer's pleased. You know, we can see some areas over here that were very problematic. So that is all you do, folks, in terms of reseeding these other areas. So, as per the script, customer did have lawn pests, leather jackets, and at this stage, I do have a little bit of concern that they might have come back. So I'm coming back over the next few days just to monitor those areas. And obviously I'll need to retreat over there saw me do that work again on rich lawns and yeah it's uh, yeah it's looking good it's looking healthy no question there is still work to be done good afternoon yeah, it's been this round for you in a second but an update on a customer's lawn and yeah wow 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 you saw the work on my lawn care weekly videos on rich lawns you know for those that question scarifying your lawn what's the point why bother doesn't work waste of money can't be bothered well you saw it i think at least you know a good two and a half weeks ago three weeks ago i did the work so let me just spin this round i mean wow 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 so you saw me do the work on rich lawns. Scarified this lawn around three weeks ago. Did not look like this at all. So scarified it, put down fertilizer. I used a ProTurf 12520. Seeds went down, ProSelect, Speed Germ, and some organic compost went on top. But yeah. A little bit of elbow work, the right application, the right products, and you can turn your lawn round very quickly, very, very healthy. Very pleased with that. So that's the, that's the done deal there. Should be good. Come back in a couple of weeks, see what's going down. I mean, come on for the green. Some nice light autumn scarification. I did do it last week. The grass was a little bit damp. Much prefer to do it under dry conditions, in my opinion, anyway. It's much more effective. Let's crack on. So, autumn scarification on this lawn has now been completed. I'll show you how much stuff is in the green bin. So, front lawn and rear lawn done. That's pretty much almost an entire wheelie bin suffocating the lawn. Good morning, my lawn lovers. Listen, <coughs> thanks for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, come on, get on it. Rich lawns. 
really hope you're enjoying the channel, the videos, as much as I am, getting them out to you. And on that note, big up yourself, Tim. He's in the editing suite doing his thing. Without him, none of this would be happening. Right, <laughs> I'm gonna shut up and spin this camera around and let you know what's going down. So, on a customer's lawn, we're a couple of weeks into September, quite rightly so. They're wanting to crack on with some autumn scarification. And we can see all over the lawn, moss. Moss has kicked in, moss is back. So I'm gonna be showing you what products I use. We're gonna get some moss killer down. Uh, it's gonna be down for around three weeks. And then we're gonna get this lawn scarified. But as I'm walking around, you know, it's not, it's certainly not everywhere, but it certainly is taking over, you know, large parts of the lawn. Okay, let's go get some product and let's crack on. Right then folks, uh, just a few leaves on the lawn. You know, I'm here to do my job properly, of course. Customers pay me good money. Without them, my business is nothing. I wouldn't dream of, you know, doing anything unless it's absolutely spot on. So anyway, I'll shut up. What I'm saying is, you gotta get those leaves off. We're gonna put product down onto the lawn. It's not gonna be very good putting the product on top of the leaves, obviously. folks as you can see knapsack sprayer is on I'm using a product called Sierra Sol got the products in there with the right amount of water this product is very very effective it's not to everybody's liking though and when I say that this product once applied to the moss will darken it off very very quickly and the darkening of that increases over around three weeks to the point where it goes dark brown verging on black in color so I've got many customers that don't visually like the look of that it's only down for about three weeks and then we can scarify it off So the moss killer has literally just been applied and already you can see it's already starting to darken off that's what it should be doing that's fantastic good morning my lawn lovers it's friday we're back on to autumn scarification spin this round for you in a second and you can see scarification really important it's about the removal of garden debris that will be suffocating the lawn that will be preventing it from breathing germinating new strong healthy grass so I've got the scarifier I'll spin this round for you in a minute and you can see so we can see you know there is some light moss down here kicking in you know, there's some dead grass on here, so we're just going to get this off, get this lawn, you know, up to standard. Look at it, 
What an amazing result. So let's get this raked up, put it in the bin. Let's get some garden debris that I missed when I was raking using the lawnmower. It technically has a hoover. So that's the lawn prepared. I've got some uh, Pro Select Speed Germ grass seed. Absolutely brilliant. Right, the seeds have gone down, so I'm just going to get a bit of this that works really well for me Jack's Magic compost. Right, fertilizer, uh, Pro Turf 12 high 20. Let's just have a quick recap on what went off last week. In fact, so much went off last week, I think we need another episode just on the recap. Anyway, let's crack on at speed. Weeds, they're still in growth. That means they're very responsive to weed killing treatment. As you've seen on my Lawn Care Weekly videos, I'm using a professional product called Celadon. Really effective. Get it on there. Don't overkill it. If you overkill it, then you'll scorch the grass around it. Just give it a light spray. You'll see them yellow off seven to 10 days and then they'll shrivel away. Lawn pests, my word. We've been up against two of them this week. Been dealing with chafer bugs and leather jackets using a biologically produced product, uh, leather jackets, Nemesis J. Uh, chafer bugs, Nemesis G, uh, live nematodes in there, extremely effective. Again, you saw that on the video. Scarification, autumn scarification, what's going off? What's it all about? Uh, you only need to scarify your lawn, obviously, if your lawn is visually telling you that the lawn needs scarifying. Have a look at your lawn. Are there elements of your lawn that aren't performing? Is there uh, dead grass, thatch, debris? You've got to get it off. The lawn will never ever progress unless you get that off. So you see me do the scarification and what you need to do after that in terms of overseeding fertilizer topsoil. Ants, <sighs> yeah, I know they're a pain. Again, I've been using a biologically produced product. Uh, no more ants. That's it folks. Wow, <sighs> that was a recap. Now then my lawn lovers, what I want you to do is press up there to look at this week's episode, press up there to look at my previous episodes. But what I really, really want you to do in there, that button in there, press that button right now to subscribe. Rich Lawns, nice one.